morning to all our wonderful Australia GWT team. This is uh, Ronen uh, uh, Trifon, uh, about to uh, take you all through an amazing, amazing experience with uh, one of the, probably, uh, from my point of view, the biggest trainers we have. But before we even start, I just want to share one minute about the amazing, amazing energies that are going on around Australia in the last 10 days. Things are going uh, crazy and in this opportunity I would like to also welcome all our new and amazing Western Australia Perth team. Uh, this team has joined us in the last uh, two days and uh, <laughs> they are going ballistic. So I wanted to congratulate everyone. Uh, and uh, I am sure that you guys are going to push the raft now and get us Melbourneian to start uh, getting into much faster action. So uh, a good, uh, little bit of good competition never hurt anyone. Uh, so now, please uh, allow me to introduce you uh, to a man that requires no introduction whatsoever. So I'm going to introduce him anyway. One, it's a great practice for me for my edification process. And two, because you can never say uh, too much about this individual. So I'd like to invite uh, uh, Rene Liao, which is started with us uh, in Global Wealth Trade in 2007. He's a shareholder in the company. He has won the prestigious President Cup Winner Award. Uh, of course, very important for all of us is that he's sitting on the CEO Advisory Council and giving a perfect uh, environment uh, balance between the uh, company and the field. Renee has been a top owner in the company and I guess beyond the fact that I choose him as one of my favorite mentors uh, because he's so accurate and so precise, uh, I think the biggest thing is that he is the first human being in the history of mankind that has proven uh, the genius of Ramin and uh, is basically generating over a hundred thousand uh, dollars with an organization of seven thousand although as uh, he just told me yesterday in the last two three months it's growing so fast it's already over eleven thousand uh, so without further ado I would like to invite Renee to the call and to try and uh, uh, do the best interview I can in order to teach <laughs> every one of us what does Rene do with uh, with uh, a new LC that has just come on board uh, tomorrow. So, uh, Rene, are you with us? Yes, and first and foremost, I want to say thank you for that uh, incredible introduction. Uh, I was quite impressed, actually. <laughs> so, thank you so much. And you know, really, I want to say thank you, Ronan, because you know it's not easy. Uh, you know, and of course, you taking the time to run these weekly webinars, you know, with Lior Scaler. But of course, today, uh, you know, getting up and just, you know, being there for the team every, every week and trying to share any kind of knowledge possible that can enable the team to uh, develop at the fullest potential. So thank you for taking the time to, uh, to be on these calls as well. It is my pleasure. And I think uh, we are all in debt, uh, both to uh, amazing Lior and obviously to yourself for getting up early in the morning <laughs> and have kids around and have to take them to schools. And I think this is perfect leading by example, by showing us that kids can never be excuses for not doing no. anything. Yep. Uh, and, uh, and to really think that the top owners in the company, in my experience after 28 years in the industry, that they will be so in act, so active in the day-to-day -day operation of uh, the field. It, 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 this probably what puts us on top of any other company in our industry by far, uh, with a great idea of the My Five. So enough of me talking, and maybe a little bit back to to you, Renee. Uh, let's just do it uh, uh, section by section. So sure. if I was uh, if I was joining you two today as an ULC. Uh -huh. What would you tell me, what would you ask me to do uh, and how would you determine uh, when's the next uh, time you're going to do anything with me? Uh, uh, do you have any homework you're giving me? I mean, what would be the process? Okay, that's a great question and uh, I'm glad you asked it because I think sometimes a lot of people, um, you know, when they get started, sometimes if their uh, uplines are, are not even sure, then they're not getting the information that they need to know. Okay, what's the next step with my, with my team? I mean, what's the next step? Uh, what should I be doing? And before I tell you what you should be doing, let me always tell you the why. Because for me, as a learner, the way I learn is that 
if you tell me something to do, uh, until I know why I'm doing it, it doesn't really make as much sense. But once I understand why I'm doing it, then it just makes sense and it naturally comes to me the next time this happens. So I do apologize if you hear my sons, they're just uh, playing upstairs. We're going to go to school in about uh, 8.45 here. So, But uh, the reason why uh, <laughs> that we want to do these things um, is because when a brand new person gets started, uh, you need to understand that some of them might not have that that business background, okay? So some of the people who get started, uh, maybe they get started from excitement because, you know, they were just pumped up and they got started. And maybe they go home and then you don't really know what they're thinking. You don't know if they're going to run into a sunblock, you know, someone who's going to be negative or someone who's going to maybe, you know, uh, throw your new LC, you know, off guard, right? So... Uh, so part of what I've done in my trainings uh, as a first few sort of mandatory trainings is, of course, to build that that belief and that strength uh, within my new LC. Because if you have someone that's ever joined your business and has done nothing in the business uh, or they've either you know lost motivation or they got thrown off, there's only ever one reason why. And that reason was a lack of belief. Because mm -hmm. if someone has that belief and that confidence, you know, like, for example, you, know, you can hear... Ronan's confidence when he does the business, right? I, you know, you can hear a staff, all the other great leaders we have in Australia, you can hear the confidence, right? So, um, and the other thing that I do, and, and here's the reason why, is I like to make sure that I go over the different packages with someone again uh, through the launch pad training. Because what happens here is that when someone gets started, if they don't um, understand the benefits of different packages, they might always stay at a lower level without understanding the benefits. And so today I'm going to share with you guys a series of things that I always show someone, um, you know, uh, hopefully within the first week of their business. So within the first week of the business, I try to have them watch a lot of videos. Now, the great thing is that, you know, you don't have to be the one to deliver all this training yourself because, you know, if you're if you're really brand new and maybe your MiFi is busy, I've, I've really leveraged uh, videos as a training platform because it's more duplicatable, right? So, so now you understand the why. You know, we're trying to make sure that our, our, our people have a very strong uh, belief. Now, sometimes you might meet someone that you can tell already has a lot of confidence in the business. They have a lot of experience in the business. And um, then you might you know, uh, want to, for example, uh, focus on other trainings. But for, for the for generic people, uh, let me just share with you uh, my screen here. Uh, Terrific. Okay. Maybe, maybe while you do and you're, so you're sharing with us the screen, I will be the obsessive compulsive and always bring it down to specifics. So I want to summarize if I understood. Uh, uh, so a new person joined you. If he's in your area, would you actually do a physical face-to-face -face meeting exactly after he started? Because obviously if not in your area, you'll do a Skype. So maybe just a quick. Uh, Great question. I know I, I love how you're always very detailed, Ronan. It's very good because it really clarifies for people uh, the exact process. Now, for me, um, um, the only time I would do, you know, sharing a video for them to train, um, a lot of times um, I will I'll always send the video to them. But at the same time, I also want to have as much. Um, face-to-face uh, -face time with them as possible, right? So I, I still do send them the videos, like watch this video, uh, but I will still find a time to get together with my own personal people that, that I introduce and, and just try to further build that bond, right? Mm -hmm. um, so, because for me, I want to be making sure that I can see, uh, you know, the people in my area at least once or twice a week. And so uh, we might meet up at the, at the, at the weekly tour but prior to that tour, again, I've, I've sent them the link to that video. And I always tell people, watch the video, write down any questions. Because if I, if I give this as, as, a, as an assignment to someone on my team and they don't do it, I already know how serious they are, if that makes sense. Right? Okay. So, yeah. so basically, I've joined. You're telling me, okay, do, do, you, do, a, do you send them the welcome mail and the checklist, uh, first of all, or do you actually meet with them, first of all? Or do you send them the checklist and, and a certain group of videos that will uh, increase their uh, uh, strength in their tripod of belief? Uh, I, I need to make it one, two, three, four, if possible, so we'll understand exactly. Definitely. I joined you. What do you do? Uh, definitely, I send them the, the, the checklist right away. 
Uh, so they can go over, you know, things like adding to Facebook, getting on the different Facebook group chats, right? Uh, at the same time, you know, I, I can add them myself as well too. Um, however, I do send them videos right away to to go okay. and watch. Absolutely. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. So the checklist, in, we we have the whole thing in one mail, a checklist with 30 different videos. We direct them to the three specific ones that will give them the biggest strength in front of going tomorrow, meeting the, the, the brother-in-law that will tell them it's a pyramid, it's nonsense, blah, blah, blah. And they have <laughs> enough strength to handle that or to connect them to, uh, to a MyPy, one of their MyPy. Yes. Did I understand correctly? Exactly, yeah. So well, I'm, uh, let me show you now the videos that most of my people, you know, uh, you know watch in sequence. Um, and to touch upon what you just mentioned about about the, you know, the, the confidence, um, there, there's, there's only ever going to be... Uh, when it comes to lack of belief, uh, lack of belief in three areas. And it's going to be lack of belief in either the industry that we're in, which is network marketing, MLM, that they're not really fully, you know, they might like the industry, but they're not fully confident uh, in promoting the industry as a whole. And until you can uh, understand this industry and see all the benefits within it, um, and believe in that, then it's not going to come out the same way. Uh, the second belief is going to be in yourself. And that's where that takes a lot more, you know, sort of personal development, reading more books. Um, and then the third area is lack of belief in the company. And the company is like a, is a, is a, is an umbrella of things. It could be lack of belief in the product, lack of belief in the competition plan, lack of belief in, you know, uh, the, the leadership, the ownership. So all that together. And we have a training that's going to build up that belief for you. So um, I hope everyone can, everyone can see my screen here and see my website. We can see your website with a okay. massive amount of presentations on it. Yes, thank you, thank you. So basically the first training, uh, again, that I, I go over is under L. So you guys already have the launch checklist, right? So uh, if I click on L for launch checklist, you know, this is the, the document that, uh, you know, your team already uses, right? Right over here, okay? Um, yeah. The, 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 of course, the, the, the default training everyone watches is the Launchpad training. Because the Launchpad training really goes over um, a lot of the different packages and the different benefits. And so, you know, especially if you have someone who is not a Diamond uh, a VDM, you want to be going over the benefits of Diamond, right? Either, you know, in, 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 in person or over chat or, or, or even better, just use this video. Altogether. That's a beautiful point. So what you're saying is even if they've seen the launchpad when they were on the decision process, even after they have joined, we should show them that again because now they are no longer checking and trying to find the problems with our business. Now they've joined and trying to find solutions and reason why to upgrade. So that's the reason why you show that to them again? Yes, because keep in mind, right, for everyone called today that you might know this information because you've been studying it for months, but always remember that you, your prospect who just got started, they probably can retain every little detail that they saw that first night. And so, yep. you know, you definitely want to have them watch it again. Absolutely. Perfect. Absolutely. Okay. So after Launchpad training is done, um, the two areas that I like to focus on um, uh, heavily when it comes to building up my, my prospect's chance of being successful um, there's a few things here. Uh, one of them is called the tripod belief training. So under T, tripod of belief training, yeah. uh, this training here again uh, is an amazing training that, that actually me and Lior did uh, uh, a few years back ago, but it's still the same training. Um, and it covers all of the details with belief in the company, belief in yourself, and belief in the industry. And so, um, so you know, that's why when, when someone watches this, now it reassures them of their decision of getting started, right? So if you, if you have someone who you, you can tell is already very, very like shaky after getting started, you better have them watch this video, right? Terrific. Uh, I am a perfect uh, example. After I've lost most of my belief in the industry, uh, I've watched this uh, remarkable uh, presentation by you and Lior. I call you guys Bonnie and Clyde because you are brilliant together. <laughs> Hopefully I'm Clyde. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, after three times that I've watched it, it, it really gave me the strength of uh, remembering the really important stuff and getting away from the politics that I've seen for 28 years, which demolishes us. So yes, so we'll show them the launchpad and then the mindset. 
Yes, yes, the tripod of belief. Because, uh, for example, right, I mean, even when people talk about their products, I can tell when someone hasn't gotten the, the right training or the belief. You know, when someone comes to me and, and asks me about, you know, our diamond line, you know, I can, with full confidence, you know, uh, be so proud of our Fairy March 21 karat gold line, you know, something that no other jewelry company in the world has but GWT. Because no one else has a special formula to create to create 19 karat gold and 21 karat gold as far as 14 karat gold that's been featured on Canadian Jewelry, you know, been uh, awarded many different awards. So, you know, and and it's customized just for you. So, you know, um, I'm so confident when I talk about the products. And so this training covers many different aspects of your belief. So definitely watch this video and, and raise your belief because when you raise your belief, your motivation gets higher and your confidence becomes much stronger. Terrific. One more question, if I may, Rene. Rene I'm sorry, I'm a bit of a pain in the butt. No, no, keep asking. But, uh, <laughs> so, um, basically, uh, if I have the option of watching it with my person, would that be any stronger to uh, letting them watch it by themselves and then uh, following up with them? You know what, to me, um, you know, if it just so happens that you're both free and you're together, watch it together, right? But you never want to delay th that process. Like, I'd rather send a video to someone and say, you know, watch it right now while you're at work or watch it, you know, on your on the way back home in the car. You can go to your phone and just press play and play it through your car when you're driving, right? I'd rather have okay. someone get this training as soon as possible instead of waiting two days to meet up and then do the video training. Yeah. And because you know that training so well, then you can only after follow up and ask a few questions to get a better idea if they truly listened and went through it or not. Yes, and actually, that's why in all my training videos, I always ask a person after I tell them to watch a video, write down your questions, and we'll go over the I'll go over your questions. Because now I, I've I've subconsciously, you know, basically given them a homework. Now they feel like they're obligated to to watch the video, so they have this call to action, they have this uh, this commitment to to fulfill now. Yeah, terrific. So we have checklist. After that, we. Um, we get, show them the launch pad and then the tripod of belief. At yes. what stage do you sit with them on the ov going overview and doing uh, going over them after they've been through the checklist? Do, uh, do you actually go with them after the checklist once they've been through? Yeah, basically, if you have time, you know, um, try to spend as much time with the team as possible because not only are you building the conference in the business, but you're you're strengthening that relationship between you and them, right? Um, but Usually, once they watch the video, I tell them to call me, you know, call me right after you're done or send me a message when you're done and, and let's get on a call together. So even if I, if, if I can talk to them, even before meeting up, I'll do that, if that makes sense. Terrific. Yeah. Terrific. So someone signed with me. The first thing I do is send him a, me a welcome email, the checklist, explain to him to go through the checklist and that we will do an overview. Once he finished the checklist, you also tell them watch the launch pad. And then the mindset, because those two will give you the strength to move forward and start approaching people. Do you then set a meeting with them to go over that checklist and to do the scripts? Ah, uh, yes. Well, or do you have any anything in the middle, maybe? Ah, uh, yeah. Though no, that's part of my next part, which which is the approaching, because Wonderful. you know, again, when I when I ask someone to basically watch a video, you know, again, I I can I can tell how serious they are, based upon if they watch a video or not, right? So. Um, you know, usually I, I like to ask people, you know, by, by what point in time would you have watched that video? And they'll tell me, okay, well, I, you know, I can watch it tonight. Then I'll say, okay, well, great, you know, so just give me a call tonight after you're done watching the videos or send me a message in this chat. So if, if you know, um, if you're on your forensic network or training system, um, if, if it goes by two days and you check your forensic box and you see that you've assigned someone a video to watch, but they haven't watched it yet or gone back to you yet, then you want to be forensic follow up, you know, get in touch with your LC, and say, you know, hey, have you watched the video yet, right? And so, uh, so part of the forensic is to help you keep track of not just you know your your, your new prospects and the ones you will be talking to and following up with, but it makes sure that you follow up with the prospects that you are uh, that you with your new LCs that you already have that they're going through the training system. So forensic network system is such an important key tool that you know allows you to uh, see how your team is developing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, it does. Maybe just to clarify to a very one day and two day old LCs, <laughs> uh, you, you, you are referring obviously to the yellow cards in the forensic, which are designed for our customers and for our LCs. 
and every time I have a follow up with an LC, I write the details and what uh, homework I gave them, and then I can follow up if they've actually done so. Is that that what you meant? Exactly, in, in your perfect English. That's exactly what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. My, my English is far from being perfect. No. Uh, wonderful. So that brings me also uh, to a side question: When do you actually bring a new LC into forensic? After 30 days? Before 30 days? Uh, and that is obviously very individually, but we want to follow your system. So when do you expose people to forensic? You know, uh, for me, um, I really look at how someone is developing uh, because, you know, you, you kind of know the reasons why your prospects joined, right? To me, if someone joined and, and, they're, and they're absolutely on fire, pretty much within 30 days, um, around a month time frame, after they've gotten more core training, I will then you know, um, uh, teach them more details on the forensic. But if someone kind of came on board and already their first, you know, two weeks, I'm having a hard time reaching them or they're not being responsive, you know, uh, me showing them the forensic will be a waste of my time and their time, right? Okay. So, yeah. So, so as Ramin says, forensic is really for part-timers, serious part-timers and full-timers. Yes. As a serious business, 25 hours a week. Uh, and uh, as, as I... Uh, as I understand, the, the first 30 days is really more like basic training in an army, run, make the biggest mistakes you can, we'll sort it out, get activity, activity, get to your ambassador, and after that, we're going to start doing the five-year plan, get them into forensic, and really start structuring. Did I get that right? Yeah, because a lot of people are off to a great start. You know, they're, you know, they're, they have, you know, they, they're, they're doing the right things already, um, but it's, we want to make sure that they maintain a plan of action for the next two years because you know um, you know as we all know it's not a get rich quick system right it, but we have a really amazing system that can guarantee you five figures a month if you stay on this system and so um, uh, but one thing that you can do for those people uh, you know usually people who, who who don't get into things right away again there's a lack of belief or there could be some other things in their lives um, and if I do have time with them I will show them uh, just the eight categories of, of the forensic networker so I want them to realize, you know, what they're not doing and, and what ex what results to expect. You know, so if you're going to be uh, a part timer, you're going to make a part time check. If you're a sometime, you're going to make a some time check. If you're going to be, uh, you know, if you're a lottery person, you know, I want you to know that you're here to play lottery. It's you know, you're not going to make any money. It's a it's a, it's, a, it's a wild shot. So you know, if you have those kind of people who are not really committed and you get a chance to be with them, um, go over the uh, eight categories. But again, those people usually, I find it's, it's even hard to, to meet, meet up with them because there's there's so much stuff going on in their lives and they're just not committed. So. Yep, got you. So basically uh, the, the forensic after the 30 days are according to the seriousness and the speed of growth of the individual mm -hmm. and eight categories of distributorship, which uh, everyone should know there is also a training on that, that uh, I think Renee, you've done one and Lior has done one too. Yes. Uh, that people can access. Yes, let me show you. So um, that training, uh, I don't have it separated yet. Uh, under the bootcamp training, um, you know, we actually have here this first part uh, where it talks about the friends economics. This boot camp covers a lot of the trainings I mentioned just now, right? So, for example, tripod of belief, um, the eight categories. So if you just press play, uh, it'll cover those three sections there. Um, and, of course, the approach section is, is in here as well, too. So that, that so the eight categories. If you want to watch that, it's it's right here. Okay, um, yeah. and, and the other really important piece that I always want to teach my people because sometimes you know you might meet someone who's who's great at approaching. For me, even after two years, uh, uh, two sorry, two different companies I was in, I still found that my approaching might not have been as super smooth and as efficient as possible. So one thing that you really want to focus on and you want to have your people watch these videos um, is the approach. You know, if, you know, as, as much knowledge as you have in this company, as much as you know every little detail in the comp plan, in the products and all that good stuff, if someone cannot learn to approach and be effective at approaching, they're not going to be able to build that, that lifestyle they want to have. And I remember when I was younger, you know, I, I don't know who trained this, but it always stuck in my mind. You know, they said, you know, in the first two years of your business, you know, you want to focus majority of your time in mastering approaching and edifying. If you can approach, it means you can book a presentation. 
If you can edify, it means that once your petition is done, you can learn how to edify your, your, your My5 to help you with the closing process. So you literally don't have to do the presentation. You don't have to do the closing. All you got to do is learn approaching and edification. So the approaching training is right here. Um, uh, this coming Sunday, I believe I'll be doing the training uh, that talks more about preparing uh, your prospect's mindset. This is a bit of an, of, of an older approach. Still very, very uh, great material here. Uh, but definitely watch this approach training here. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. And I'm sure that uh, uh, Rene, at the end of our webinar, will be able to put in uh, our Australian Wealth uh, Trade Group uh, the link to this website, your website. Uh, there is no problem with that, right? For everybody to go and see all the presentations. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, even right now, I'll send a chat to everyone just uh, who's here. You know, that's the link to my website. So, you know, basically, I try to maintain this website of the most up-to-date um, training material. And, you know, if you have time, if you have time and, you know, you're just watching TV, instead of watching TV, which does nothing for your life, TV is a complete <laughs> waste of time, right? Yeah. You know, if, if you're worried about uh, serious news, if it's that serious, you'll, you'll hear about it as you go out through your day. Um, but if you have you know, time, just click on one of these trainings, you know, click on handling objections, you know, click on power of, uh, of IA, uh, proper product mindset, you know, product training. I mean, you know, this is your business, right, guys? Uh, in any other business you're in, you, you know, the good thing about MLM is you don't have to know everything before getting started, you know. Um, but the bad thing is, is that most people might not treat it like, like a real business then. So really, when you have your own retail store business, before you open your coffee shop or your restaurant business or whatever it is, you know everything about it. So in our business, the, the nice thing is that the beauty is that it's a very low startup cost and your, your business can grow even while you're not building it. But definitely as you're, as you're getting started, make sure you spend as much time learning training. And for myself, my first, my first like five months of the business, anytime I had a weeknight off, I was not going for dinners to go and meet friends. I went to any possible training that was available. You know, um, I would meet with, with, with my, with my, with my, my five or my team, whenever possible. I was trying to absorb as much information as possible because I was just hungry for information because I, I want to build my belief. Yeah. I, I, I so much understand uh, what you're saying now. And I understand from the other side, after 28 years, I thought I knew everything and I've made the horrible mistake of not investing in learning properly for the first seven months. Uh, and I can see the people around me today. I actually spend about an hour to two hours a day on your website, which is why I'm in love with it. Especially I work a lot with the comparisons to other network companies, which is a phenomenal job of research that you have done uh, over the oh. years. Uh, that uh, I'm sure while I'm talking, you can show everybody where to find that here on this website. But the last uh, three months, I have, uh, I have done a lot of work with your website and the training. And uh, I think anyone that will talk to me today will feel the difference incredibly. I mean, it is, there is nothing more important than actually learning. Don't, as you said, don't wait to do activities before you learn. Do activities because they are also a school. Uh, but yes, I, I had to tell that story and to, to completely back you up uh, on that section. Yeah, and I totally appreciate that because really a lot of people, uh, it's like sometimes I find it harder to work with people who have had too much experience uh, being in other companies because they, they think they know what to do. Um, and I think it's, it's credible that you are telling us, Ronan, even after all your experience, um, that there's still, you know, every company has a way of doing things that, that, that will work. And so I'm really proud of you for, for just, you know, being so committed to, to your own development uh, and to the, the development of your own team here. So, um, yeah, so basically, you know, just to share with you guys and to build your confidence, um, I've met so many people in different companies who always say, you know, we have a better company, you know, ours is better, you know, this and that, right? Um, end of the day, understand this. Every company has great products. You know, most of the, the good companies, their products are great. You know, you cannot say um, your products are bad. Now, if you're in another health company and you're competing with another, if you're in a health company and you're competing with another health company, then you have to say that, well, we have better, better vitamins, whatever it is, right? For us, don't even, don't even go there. Just say, you know what? I know, you know, I believe you have great products, you know, and, and however, for me, you know, and for most people who join MLM, we're not here just to be healthy. You know, if we want to be healthy, we can just take the products. 
Majority of us, 99.9999% of you on the call tonight, got started in MLM because you want to make money, right? If the if you if your initial company you joined in MLM had health products but no opportunity to make money, you probably wouldn't be there still, or there for very long, right? You guys start because you want to make money. So for me, when I meet my prospects, I always tell them, look, you know, um, wouldn't you agree that we are here to make money? We want to change our lives, right? They say yes. Then I would say, and wouldn't you agree that if we're going to spend our time in a company, shouldn't we find a company that pays us the most amount of residual income for our efforts? And they'll say yes. I will say no, because you would agree that you know bonuses, every compensation plan has bonuses or commissions. Bonuses come once, you have to work for it again. So I'm not a fan of bonuses. You know, we have bonuses, it's great, but I'm not here just to make bonuses. I want to focus my time on finding a company that has the highest payout when it comes to the compensation plan in, 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 in residual income. Because residual income is how you can retire. It's how you can basically have that lifestyle to travel with your kids, you know, not worry about your next month uh, paycheck because residual income is stable. So I tell my prospect, you know, wouldn't you agree we should find a company that gives us the most amount of residual income for our efforts? In other words, if we had 100 people in company ABC making $100, and 100 people in company XYZ making uh, $1,000 with 100 people of passive income, would you want 1,000 or 100? And they would say, I want 1,000. And I would say, well, so great. So I think what we should do is let's take a look at how your company's payout plan is and look at how my company's payout plan is and look at which one pays more. And let's not be attached you know, to uh, the company or be attached to the products because all companies have great products. Let's be attached to which company pays us the most residual income for our efforts. And so okay. on this website here, I basically compared uh, most of the big companies that, have, that I've run across you know, in the last 12 years of me being in the business. Um, a lot of those, you know, and till today, not one company can pay more dollar for dollar in passive income than GWT. So have that confidence. Cool. Yeah. Important to remind everyone that uh, uh, by the time it takes to create all of those comparisons, uh, a lot of companies change their compensation plans uh, from time to time. So if anybody ever sees any detail that has been changed and they're aware of it, you're welcome to connect your to your MiFi and put whatever changes you see there. And uh, I'm sure that uh, we will uh, place them in because we want to present that our knowledge is accurate. Yes. Uh, and uh, Rene, it's just brilliant what you've done here. The, the, I, I know that we, we can do this for hours, probably <laughs> you and I, and I know you are very limited in you need to take the kids to school. That leaves us about seven to max ten minutes. In those ten minutes, I wanted to maybe do a, a, a three-minute complete rundown uh, robotic style, my style of my LCS joint, yes. I send him the checklist, a welcome email, uh, plus a few attachments, obviously, uh, everybody receives that. Then right. I, I basically set, a, I tell him, go over this, and I set a particular time with him, or yeah. I just say, when you've gone over it, you call me. Uh, I like to ask people, you know, uh, when do you think you'll have watched this video? Terrific. So you're giving them the feeling of control of their own time, but making sure that they're not going to sleep. And then they contact you. At that stage, you go over the checklist, or uh, and, and if so, have they already watched the launch pad and the tripod of belief, or is it after the, the checklist that they watch the launch pad and the tripod of belief? Okay, great question. So basically, uh, let me open up the launch checklist here. This on my screen uh, and kind of go over it really quickly here, right? So basically, um, most of this information, you know, my new LC can go through themselves, right? So a lot of it uh, might be done already. For example, you know, um, having them like the GWT corporate page, uh, you know, liking the for the networker page and the family page. So a lot of this stuff is just a lot of videos and kind of stuff too. Um, yep. And so. Um, so, you know, the, the person who's going through this should be able to go through this without you having to, you know, um, get involved so so much, right? So for me, I don't really go over this, like, you know, sitting down with them or over the phone. You know, they can just click these links here, right? So even the launch pad uh, is here. So a lot of times, um, 
you know, I'll ask them, when will you have time to go over this document, right? And so I, I, I will know by the time we talk again if they actually watch the Launchpad training. If they haven't, then I tell you, you know, watch, click on this link and watch this Launchpad training. I'll send them the link to my website, right? So, mm -hmm. so my point is, um, a lot of this stuff here, you know, they 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 should go over it by themselves because it's very it's very simple, and so um, and in that in that follow up phone that, that chat or conversation, if they haven't gone through those videos, I can again we send them the link to the first few videos. Does that make sense? Let's assume, yeah, perfectly. Let's assume that they've done and they're great LCs and they've watched the videos and everything, and then. Do you actually go over the Hot 7 and, uh, and 250 uh, content list of names? Um, or do you just ask them, do you have them? Or what, how do you handle the list of names and how do you handle the, the scripting, which is where uh, I personally use a lot of effort on because I believe they're just about to smile and dial. So I, I just wanted in the last few minutes that you have, if you can touch on those. Yeah, you know, and pretty much again, you know, uh, I guess the, the default question I ask after all my trainings is, you know, is is you know, have you, you know, at what point in time how, can you go over all the, all these different things here, right? So, um, in other words, I, I always ask the people. In other words, you know, I, I, you know, part of this checklist is to make your hotshot seven and your work to do list, right? I will ask them, you know, have you made your list yet? So, you know, um, I'll tell you, make your list. But pretty much in, in, in the follow-up conversation after they've gone over this document, I will see mm -hmm. if they've gone over that stuff, if they made their list yet. And I'll ask them, you know, so, so how big is your list right now? And if they say 20 people, then I know that they're not doing the right job. They're, they're prejudging their list, right? So, you know, you should easily have 250 people on your list. So you are obviously referring them to a memory jogger, explaining not to judge and tell them, ask them all the right questions to help them re- uh, yeah. grow their list. So if you get married tomorrow, who would be your yeah. your guest list and stuff like that? You start to guide them through it? Yes, yeah, because also if you see that they only have 20 people on their name list, it means that their belief is not there. And then you would send them, you know, watch the tripod belief training because the only reason why you don't have a thousand names on your list is because you don't believe in the company yet as full as I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Again, each one of these topics we're talking, we can probably dedicate a half an hour on its own, but uh, anyway, <laughs> we are so short on time today, and maybe we should do a lot more of those. Uh, maybe just on the script parts. Uh, what do you do? You tell them to print out the script attachment that we send. You tell them to learn it before the meeting that you're going to have with them, and then you're going to go over it with them. Or how how exactly do you handle yeah. and prepare them to smile and dance? So this one here, again, it's all about approaching. So I have them watch the video on approaching. So the okay. approaching training has scripts in there as well too. Got you. So you basically save the time and uh, utilize the approaching training for mm -hmm. them. So. Pretty much the way I see it, 95% of, of the system is fully automated and yes. what we need to do as my fives are really know our material correctly in order to send them to the right information for them to train themselves. Yes. That's what I'm getting from you. Yeah? Exactly. Because you know what you're doing here subconsciously is you're showing them duplication, that they don't have to become a master of training or to book your time to train their new LCs. They can just send a video to their LCs, you know what, and do the same thing as well too. Duplication, duplication. So in a way, uh, the more we invest in learning ourselves, the better we become at pointing and guiding our people better. Exactly, exactly. Fantastic. It is, uh, it is uh, 22, and I know that you have to go and take your kids. I was hoping we'll be able to open the mics and get some questions and answers, but... I will this time have to apologize for you because the last thing we want is for mommy to be angry. <laughs> uh, you know, if mommy's happy, everybody's happy. Yeah. Uh, so everyone on this call, I personally apologize uh, for not having the time for questions and answers. Uh, maybe that's a perfect opportunity to commit Rene to giving us a few more of those interviews and maybe according to subjects that you guys want, put it on the group and we will then pick up those subjects and maybe uh, can from time to time, maybe once a month, 
get Renee on and, and do an interview like that. What do you say? Can I commit you to that? Renee? You know what? I mean, I think I'm going to be here every single week from now on with you guys because I, I love these conversations. I love these calls. Uh, you know, I love the team. So I'll be here every Wednesday with you guys uh, uh, if, if, if you need me. Uh, but again, right now, if you have any questions, you know, don't wait. Write your question down uh, into your Australia uh, um, you know, group chat or, or your My5 chat. Make sure you ask those questions. Okay? Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, maybe I suggest that if those are questions that are useful for everybody to learn, put them in the Australian group. If those are individual questions or issues, put them in your My5 group. Absolutely. Uh, and, uh, and not only that we would be happy for you to be with us every Wednesday, uh, I believe that if I can lock this commitment, I take it anytime. I did know that you can give us those. Uh, times where I'm very, very happy uh, to know that now we'll have you every week. Absolutely. Everybody on this call does. Uh, and I'm going to uh, thank you so, so much, Renee, for your time. I know we haven't fully covered the topic, uh, but it's a good start, and maybe we can uh, continue on next week. Uh, next week. So wonderful. you go. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so, so much for your time, and we're looking forward to seeing you here next week. For the rest of uh, the Thank you, Renee. Bye, guys. Australia, take care, Renee. Bye, bye. For the rest of uh, our team in Australia here, guys, those are very exciting times, and I want to congratulate and thank each and every one of you for the efforts and the time you're putting into learning and raising your businesses. And I believe we are about in the next year to seriously put GWT on the Australian map, and it sounds like maybe New Zealand map and a few other places. So. Uh, I am basically closing uh, our session for today. Ronen Trifon, love you all, broadcasting from Melbourne. This is the end of our webinar.